wanted to give a quick video of the case that I picked up for my Bebop drone. Um, I still am planning on getting the Pelican 1600 case like um, Kenneth Young's got. Um, I really do like that case. I think it's way better than this one. Uh, this I picked up for right now because the backpack that I was using kind of was messing up the, uh, the holder for the Bebop. Um, plus every time I was taking it in and out the propellers were kind of catching on it so I didn't want to continue using that and you know possibly damage it or whatnot. Um, you know I still have it there so occasionally I may use it like I said if I'm hiking or something but for work taking it to work this case um, I can't think of their name but on the parrot forums they had it, uh, people had shown this off this is uh, bought at Harbor Freight it's about 30 bucks um, for this case it comes with the foam insert uh, and then a place to put some extra stuff on the, on the top side. So I'm going to show you what I did and then um, after I show you what the case looks like on the back of the video here I'm going to do a time lapse of me actually plucking it out. Really it only took me about a half hour to pluck this out um, because of the size of this case and the way it's designed I didn't have to pluck out each individual piece for the Bebop. Um, I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like now um, and then that way you can you can see for yourselves. Um, but it opens up. It's an aluminum case. It's not the very best However, I do got room for everything here. Uh, I have the Bebop here. The propellers are down here in the foam. Um, I put a little pieces of foam that I had extra from pulling them out on top here just to kind of hold them in place because I noticed when I had closed it and moved it, they kind of shifted a little. So this just keeps it in place there from shifting. Um, my charger is here. Uh, I still have room for more batteries. I may move this. The problem is when I stand this up, it actually comes out to the top of the case it makes it really hard to close that's why i laid these this way this one i may put in the other way here this is the charger for my um for these batteries here my 2500 milliamp batteries um this is the charger obviously for the parrot ones and the vga batteries that i have um as i said i do have one of the ones uh from china coming that look just like this uh, as soon as it gets here they said anywhere between now and february 2nd uh, they should be here. So once I get it here, I'll actually do a time test review like my other ones I did. Um, I am flying with the Navita Shield, um, NVIDIA Shield. Um, I do like this a lot better. Um, I'm going to be putting a video together on mapping it. Um, not that I'm an expert. Um, however, I did kind of learn just online. I thought it's, it sounds a lot more complicated than it is. It's really simple to map that uh, to use with the Bebop so you can use all the different stuff. Um, so everything fits in here really good. Um, when I close this, I only had to take out two little pieces here uh, because it does give you space from here. I might later, at a later date, pick up some more of this foam that brings it up all the way so I can actually sink stuff in. Um, I did not put the bumpers in there that come with this. Um, I think I've flown with this maybe twice, <laughs> two or three times, that's it. I don't care for them. I don't really fly it inside. Um, I only fly outside and I just... I haven't seen a purpose to actually fly with it outside yet. Um, so I just omitted them from my case. Uh, it's a little, this, like I said, this is smaller than the Pelican. Um, but like I said, you have the cutouts here. Um, this little piece actually folds down. I have my charger for my uh, NVIDIA Shield. I have my the actual charger for the, the other battery. The um, balance charger is there. And then I have the cable so I can hook it up to a 12 volt source uh, to charge those batteries as well. Uh, and that fits right up in there um, As far as the the way the case is made It's a decent case. I wouldn't say it's super high quality, but you're not paying super high price either um, I just needed something to get me started would have something a little bit better give it a little bit more protection I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money right now um, I am looking to get that other case and that'll be more for when I'm traveling uh, for the pot for the purpose that it's waterproof and I know it's really rugged um, and they come really well, but this for 30 bucks, um, I definitely couldn't beat it. Uh, it'll definitely keep the drone protected and keep everything in, in one piece. Um, so, you know, uh, leave me your comments below um, on, on your thoughts. Also, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. I try to answer all questions of what anyone uh, asks me. Um, <clears throat> also, if you have any links to any, bar, uh, any um, cases that you guys have done, um, I'd love to see them. Just put them in the put the link in the comments and that way, you know, we can all he help each other out getting different ideas. All right. Thanks a lot. and You have a good day